All right, boys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a couple little additional operations with vectors. So hang on tight. The first operation with vectors is fairly easy, um, and it's called the dot product. And the dot product is as close to multiplying as we get with vectors. We, we never multiply a vector times another vector. But what we can do, and it has several uses, one of which we'll look at today, it's called the dot product. So let's pretend we have one vector, which is u1, u2 as the horizontal vertical component. And then another vector v, we'll call v1, v2. So if I want to take the dot product of those two vectors, it is written as such a dot. And what I do is I get the sum of the product of the vertical and horizontal components, which ends up being a number, or in vector world, we call those numbers scalars. So when we take the dot product of one vector and another, we end up with a number or scalar. Okay. The dot product helps us uh, very quickly get angle between vectors. It also gives us a little shortcut for determining when vectors are indeed orthogonal. In other words, angle between is 90. So dot product equals zero. But we're going to get into a little bit more fun use of a dot product that's called a projection. But let's just do one practice problem with dot product. So let's assume u is the vector 6, 2. And let's just assume v is another vector. And we're going to call that vector 3, negative 5. So if I take the dot product of u and v, it's nothing more, nothing less than 6 times 3 plus 2 times negative 5, which is 18 minus 10, which is 8. Of course, that 8 is a number. In vector world, we call those numbers scalars. We have scalars, numbers, and vectors, creatures, with magnitudes and directions. What's more fun than dot product is what's called a projection. Okay. And so let's assume again that we have u and v, two vectors. I'm trying to make the u's and v's very different. Which one of the more annoying things in math is when we use u and v together, or when we use t as a variable. Regardless, it is what it is. So one of the things we can do with vectors is that we can project one onto the other. So we call that pro projection of a vector and we'll say on to v, right? We can do it in either direction. But if we're going to try to project the vector u onto the vector v, it's written as such. We write it projection. We abbreviate that as proj of u. We put that u right here. And then we subscript. We work a little bit backwards, and we say on to v that v, the vector onto which this projection will land, goes down low. Okay, so that's how we write it. The way we get a projection of one vector onto the other is we essentially scale v. Remember, it has to land on v, so it has to therefore be a scalar of v. Okay, now it can work in the same direction, or it can go in the opposite direction. That scalar is negative. But we're going to scale up or down v, and therefore land on the v. And the scalar that we end up using to multiply by the vector v is, we take the dot product of u and v on top over the magnitude of v squared. Okay, so that is how we get a mathematical projection of one vector onto the other. So this vector, when we take a look at how one vector affects the other, it lands on the other. Okay, in this case, onto V. So let's use those same two vectors that we just used. And we have 6, 2. Whoop. Call that uh, V. And here is U. And that's 3, what did we use? 3, negative 5. Okay. 
So what I'm going to think of is, okay, what is the projection of u, u is the vector down low, onto v, v is this green vector. So it's going to land the projection of u onto v, it's going to land on v, or perhaps in the opposite direction, same thing. Okay. The way that I get that mathematically, and then visually, is I'm going to take the projection of u on to v as a dot product. We already got the dot product. It's 6 times 3 plus 2 times negative 5. So we already figured out the dot product is 8. And we just did that. Over the magnitude of v. Now the magnitude of v is pretty easy to use. Just use good old Pythagoras, right? Square root of 6 squared plus 4 squared, or the root 40. But we're going to square that root 40. Right, so it's really the magnitude of v should be noted is root 40, right, based on the Pythagorean theorem. But we're going to square that so we just get 40. Okay, and that is the scalar for v. So, again, this projection of one vector onto the other has to land on, in this case, v. We're projecting u, the yellow vector, 3, negative 5, onto v, the green one. And so all I'm going to do is really scale that down by one-fifth. So I'm going to take a fifth of six, which is six-fifths. I'm going to take a fifth of two, which is two-fifths. Okay? So I just scaled down the vector v by one-fifth. And so therefore, maybe just to eyeball it really quickly, maybe that right there is a projection of u onto v, which would be 6 fifths, 2 fifths, okay? And again, note it lands on the vector v. We're essentially taking into account the quote-unquote force or the influence of u onto this vector v. And that is called a projection of u, in this case, onto v. And note how, again, it lands on v. Occasionally, we'll get projections that look like this when we have a negative scalar out here. Okay. So that's a projection of one vector onto another. It utilizes this notion, which is pretty basic, of a dot product. We never really multiply vectors together, but we do have this creature, which ends up being a number, a scalar, called a dot product. And it's used within the projection formula. Um, that's the numerator for the scalar of v when we project u onto v. I right, hope you enjoy this. See you guys in class Saturday.